Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to model a muscle break like this in SolidWorks. First go to File, New, and choose a new part and click OK. Now start a new sketch on the top plane, and choose the center line, sketch vertical center line like this. Click on the center line and make it infinite. Control click the center line and the origin and make them coincident. Now choose the line tool and sketch some lines like I'm doing here. One here, one here, and an angle one, and finish the line at the center line and double click to escape. Now choose the smart dimension, give this one a dimension of 15. Choose this line and this line and give it a dimension of 90. Choose this line and the origin and give them a dimension of 110. Now choose the center line and this angled one and give them an angle of 20 degrees. Choose this line and give it a dimension of 45. Now pull this point down here to tweak it a little. Now choose the three-point arc and sketch an arc between these two points. Click OK to accept. Now give this arc a dimension of 50. Now control click the origin of the arc and the center line and make them coincident. And finally give this one a dimension of 65. Like this. Now go to insert no tools and sketch tools and choose mirror. Click on the entities you just created and mirror them about the center line and click OK to accept. Now go to features and go to extruded bar space. Now from the end condition choose mid plane and give it a dimension of 33 and click OK to accept. Press Ctrl-5 to have it from the, the top view. Click the top plane and start a new sketch. Now sketch a new center line, make it vertical. Click on it and make it infinite. Now click the origin and Ctrl click the center line you just created and make them coincident. Choose the line tool. And sketch a line from here to this point and out here. Make a line here and here and finish it at the center line. Choose Smart Dimension and give this one a dimension of 3. And give these two lines a dimension of 3. Now control click the origin and this point and make them horizontal. Choose the Smart Dimension tool and make an angle between the center line and this line of 50. Now choose mirror entities and mirror the entities you just created and mirror them about the center line and click OK to accept. Now go to features and extrude a bar space, choose mid plane in end condition and make an extrusion of 40 and click OK to accept. So now it will look like, like this. Now choose the fillet tool and choose multiple radius fillet and click this edge, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. Now give this one a dimension of 20, and this one 20 also, this one of 5, this one of 5, this one of 50. And the final one, 50 also, and click OK to accept. Now choose the fillet tool again, and press 7, and give these edges a fillet of 7, like I'm doing here. And click OK to accept. 
Now click the top plane and start a new sketch and press Ctrl 5. Now in the display style choose wireframe, select the line tool and snap to this point, this point and finish a line here. Sketch a center line and make it vertical. Click on it and make it infinite. And click OK and control click the center line and the origin and make them coincident. Now sketch a line like I'm doing here. And horizontal one to the center line. Double click to escape. Give it a smart dimension from this point to the center line of 12.95. Select the line tool and snap to this point and sketch a line like I'm doing here and finish it at the center line and double click to escape and choose this point in the center line and give it a dimension of 12.95 and give this line and this line a dimension of 25. Now choose the line tool, sketch a line from the center line out here and another line here, one here, here and finish it at the center line. Now click this point, this point and this point and make a vertical dimension. Choose the smart dimension and give these lines a dimension of 20. Make a dimension between these two lines. First make them parallel. Click on them and choose make parallel. Now you can give it a dimension of 3.5. And give this line a dimension of 70. Choose the line tool again. Sketch a line here. and down here and double clip to escape. Click this line and this line and make them parallel. Click this point and this point and make them vertical. And give them a dimension of 3.5. Click OK. Now choose the offset entities tool. And click this line and click 3.5 here and reverse it. And click OK. Choose the offset entities once more and click this arc and reverse it. Now pull this point and this point and pull this point down here. Now choose the trim entities and make sure you have power trim chosen. Trim away this one, this one, this one and this one and this one. Now choose mirror entities and click on all the entities you just created, like I'm doing here. And mirror them about the, the center line. And click OK to accept. Now go to features and go to extruded cut. And make sure to choose midplane and end condition and type 26. Click OK to accept. Now choose display style and choose shaded with edges. So you will have it look like this. Now choose the front plane and start a new sketch and press Ctrl 1. Choose the circle tool and sketch your circle with the center and the origin and give the circle a dimension of 12.95. Go to features and make an extruded cut and make it through all. And click OK to accept. Now click this surface and start a new sketch. Choose the circle tool and sketch your circle with the center and the origin and give it a dimension of 32. Go to features and make an extruded boss of 20. And click OK to accept. 
Now go to the whole wizard and make a thread. In the standard choose inches and in the size choose this size. And in the hole depth choose 20. And go to positions and make a point here. Control click the point and the edge of the circle and make them concentric and click OK to accept. Now choose the chamfer tool and give this surface a chamfer of one millimeter. Now view the muscle break from the this side and click this surface and start a new sketch. Choose the circle tool and sketch a circle with the center and the origin. Give it a dimension of 21. Go to features and go to extruded cut and make an extruded cut of one millimeter. And click OK. Now choose the fillet tool and give this edge a fillet of two millimeters. And click OK to accept. Now finally you can give it a, a nice looking appearance. You go to appearances and expand metal, expand iron, and right click matte iron and choose add appearance to part. So now you have model and muscle break like this. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and you will find it useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.